What's going on, everyone? Tim here, back again with another video. Um, I've been been really busy lately, so I really haven't posted any videos. Um, so, what I'm going to be talking about today, I'm going to be talking about Scream 6. Um, I went to see it Thursday night. It was, you know, it had me on the edge of my seat. That Going into it, I wasn't know what I was expecting because, you know, when... The film was first announced. Um, Neva Campbell decided not; she's not going to be in it because of a pay dispute, which I don't blame her in any way, shape, or form. Because you know she's been in the in the last five movies. Um, she deserves every penny that that she gets doing these films. But my digress. She didn't, you know, come into the film. The, the, the film. Um, she, she was actually missed, but this film was amazing. Um, this was way better than the, f the first, the, the f fifth film. Um, you know, we had a lot of chase sequences. They used the New York City, like, landscape, the landscape of New York perfectly well. Um, it was nothing that I've ever seen in a screen film. You know, um, the chase, there were, every chance you got, there was a chase sequence. Um, the violence and the gore was over the top in this film. Um, I, I was glad to see, you know, in the first, in the first, like, minute or so, the, you, you know, it's a stereotypical for Scream that there is a death. A, a death sequence in the first, maybe, like, five minutes of the film, um, Tony Lori, as you know him from as playing Flash from Sp the Spider-Man films, um, he was in it. He, he made it shot. He was, you know, I wasn't. I was surprised to see him in it. Um, wasn't really expecting him in it, but he was in it. He made. He was there for like maybe a couple minutes or so in it, but also again. Every chance you got, there was a death. And that it really captured what Scream was. Um, Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega was, was, they did an excellent job. I love, I love them in this film. Um, I'm glad that, you know, they brought legacy characters, but they're giving the new characters time to shine. As you know, Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera, they were in it. But they also have, you know, um, Jasmine Savoy Brown, who plays Mindy. She was, uh, she's awesome. She reminds me of the one, I forget the guy's name, from the first two films, who basically is a big horror buff. But she just nails the character very, very well of that guy. And then you got Mason Gooding, who who played Chad. He he does, he does does an excellent job. But then you got the legacy characters like Courtney Cox as as Gail Weathers, and you got Hayden Panteri as Kirby from the four film, which I get I have yet to see fully, but um I yet to watch the fifth the four film um. The pl like the the staple of Scream, they use so many Easter eggs from, like, all the the ways the, the deaths of the the bad the, the ghost face killers, that from Billy to I forget damn I forget the I forget the guy's name that was in the fifth film I I it, it's been a while since I've seen it so yeah. Stay with me. They, they make a huge. The, this new Ghostface killer makes a shrine of Ghostface. Um. Again, the legacy character. Uh, they don't rely heavily on nostalgia. It, which you know, you kind of like to see. With films nowadays, they usually rely on nostalgia, like on these remakes and everything. But it doesn't feel that way because there's more chase sequences than there has been 
in the original films. Um, you don't. I kind of wish though Gail Weathers got more screen time. Um, but she didn't. But it's still good that she got the time that she did in this film. And but it sucks without Nev Campbell because she like for Sydney Prescott singing that shrine of Ghostface Killers. That would have been something for Sydney to explore. But I'm glad how they took in explaining what happened with Sydney. Um, if Scream Seven comes out, I will be. I hope she makes like it comes. I hope Nev Campbell comes back for Scream Seven if they decide to do it, and if they don't, they don't make it happen. Then you know that's good for her. I mean, you know, give Sydney Prescott the the break that she needs from the character in these films. Because I don't think you really want to rely too much on Sidney Prescott. I think Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega, with their characters, they can handle the 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 load of the Ghostface Killers. Um, but yeah, the violence in this film, I wasn't expecting the the, the, the the again spoiler free. I was surprised that there was so much more violence in this film than it was in previous films because you don't see most um you don't see that much violence in these films now that you, that you do they've seen right in original the original screams um the chase sequences there was way more um <laughs> also spoiler free at the end, there is a post credit scene, but it is funny, and you'll, you'll get a kick out of it. Um, other than that, I, this Scream 6 was, is a good film. It's a wh good horror film, and I definitely highly recommend this film. So if you haven't already, go out and see it. Um, I was waiting to go out to post a video, but I, I want I to get back to doing videos again, and so I f figured why not. To start with Scream Six. I will be doing more with when Shazam comes out. Co I'm gonna watch Cocaine Bear. I'll do my review after after that. Um, yeah, but definitely watch Scream Six. Scream Six is good. I'm gonna go actually go watch Scream Four now, but uh, because I I I watched it and I just haven't finished it. But also, and I'm gonna say this right now. Spoiler: They don't show. The MTV version of Ghostface. They don't. They don't show nothing from that show. I haven't. I've watched. Maybe I couldn't finish it. I might finish it this week. Um, but they. It doesn't. They don't. Cause I just hate the mask. That's the only thing I didn't like from the first season of Scream from the MTV show. Um, but I will go give that a look. But that's just a little spoiler. I. I. I that's the only thing that they don't show in this movie thank goodness because i didn't like the mask at all um but yeah um definitely um you know i'll see this film and i will see you all later i will start posting more videos in the coming weeks um i'm gonna get back to doing wrestling reviews um gaming reviews and yeah let's go let's see how this works out <laughs> all right i will see you later don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you don't, that's fine. But um, please leave a comment if you if I missed anything. So, thank. Hope you have a wonderful day.